Hi all the students. Today we are going to study the two fundamental problems that are associated with a wireless network. So whenever you have a wireless network, two problems can occur. One is the hidden station and another is the exposed station problem. All right. So let's see what these hidden station and uh, exposed station problem are. Now assume that there are four nodes A, B, C and D. So basically we have four nodes and we name them as A, B, C and D to differentiate among them. Now if B and C are in the radio range of each other, that means B and C can listen to each other and exchange data with each other. Similarly, A and B are in the radio range of each other. That means both A and B can communicate with each other. So in that case, C is not in the radio range of A. Right. So B and C are in the radio range of each other. Then A and B are in the radio range of each other. But C is not in the radio range of A. Now, suppose that there is a transmission going on between A and B. So if I assume that there is a transmission which is going on between stations A and B, why a transmission going on station B, A and B? Because both of them are in the radio range of each other, hence they can communicate. So if there is a transmission going on between station A and B, and if C also wants to transmit to B, C, C is not in the radio range of A, but you very well know that C is in the radio range of B. And there is a communication going on between a and B. So basically A is the common node between both the stations. B can communicate with C as well. B can communicate with A as well. But A and C cannot communicate with each other because they are not in the radio range of each other. Right. So if C also wants to transmit to B, A and B are already having a communication or transmission. Now C also wants to transmit to B. First it will sense the medium right so it will sense the medium but will not listen to a's transmission now even after sensing the transmission medium a node can only sense those stations in, uh, in whose uh, it is in whose radio's range right so c is in the radio range of b so it can sense b's communication but c is not in the radio range of a so even if a is communicating or is there is some communication ta uh, taking place from a side c cannot sense or listen to that communication right so even if c senses the transmission medium it will not be able to listen to a's transmission for the simple reason that c is not in the radio range of a right so if a is transmitting to b C, B is not transmitting. If B transmits, C can sense that transmission because B is in the radio range of C. But A is transmitting to B, right? And A is not in the transmission range of C. So C cannot sense or listen to that transmission because obviously, as I said, that A is outside the range of node C, right? Now, does C will create garbage for the frame coming from A if it transmits to B? Of course, if two nodes transmit at the same time, you know, the data will be garbled out. Now, C could not sense A's transmission towards B because A was not in its range. And C wanted to transmit to B, whereas at the same time, A was also transmitting to B. So, if both A and C transmit at the same time to B, the data will be garbled out. So this is called the hidden station problem that the station A was hidden from station C. The communication with that was taking place on A's side was hidden from node C because for the simple reason that A was not in the radio range of C. Now the problem of a station not being able to detect another node because that node is not in its radio range or because that node is too far away is called the hidden station problem. Okay, now let us consider the another situation or which is the reverse situation called the exposed station problem. Now, what is the exposed station problem? Now, in this case, again, the scenario is same. Both A and uh, both A and B are in the radio range of each other and B and C are in the radio range of each other. But A and C are not in each other's radio range, right? Scenario is still the same. Now, if B is transmitting to A, both are within radio range of each other, of course, that is why they can transmit to each other. Now C wants to transmit to D. So 
as i said we have basically four nodes a b c and d in the hidden station problem we did not see node d now here we are seeing node b also so what happens is that c wants to transmit to d why because it is in the radio range of d as usual it senses the channel and hears an ongoing transmission now since c is in the radio range of d so if it wants to transmit to d of course first of all it will sense the channel and it can sense all those stations which are in its radio range and since d is in its radio range what happens is that when c senses the channel it hears an ongoing transmission and falsely falsely concludes that it cannot transmit to d right so in this case what is happening b is transmitting to a right and both b and c are also in the radio range of each other so when c listens to the channel it senses the transmission but that transmission is taking place from b side and it wants to transmit to d but then what happens after sensing the channel it finds out an ongoing transmission and it concludes that it cannot transmit to d it falsely concludes that it cannot transmit to d though actually b is free it is b which is communicating but it concludes that it cannot transmit to d because c is in the radio range of b also and c is in the radio range of d also so if b is transmitting something c will be able to sense that but it doesn't know which node exactly is transmitting so it concludes that it cannot transmit to d but the fact is that transmission between c and d would not have caused any problem because the intended receiver c and d are in different range they are not in the range of b b is not in the range of d so c and d are in a different range hence any communication between c and d would not have interrupted the communication between a and b or b and b a so this is called the exposed station problem wherein you assume even though you are not interrupting there is no inter uh, interruption between two stations communication still because of some other station in this radio range of the same station c it concluded that it could not transmit to d b was transmitting to a d was not transmitting but both b and d were in the radio range of c when c sensed the channel it found a transmission going on and it concluded it could not transmit to d whereas it was not the case c could have easily transmitted to d without any interference because b was not in the radio range of d so c and d the communication taking place between c and d were or are in a different range so this is called exposed station problem where a station senses the channel and because of some other station in it in its range which is transmitting it presumes that it cannot transmit to the other station also so this is called the exposed station problem so this is all about the hidden station and exposed station problem which are common in any wireless network